Learning how to code is hard and a lot of people make the same mistakes over and over again when first learning how to code. In this video, I'm going to tell you about three mistakes that you're probably making as a beginner when learning how to code and how to fix them. First mistake is that you're learning too much. Yeah, it's kind of counterintuitive, but when you're starting out programming, it feels very overwhelming because there's a lot of things to learn and you think that you have to learn all of them. Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't have to learn every single thing about a specific language that you're trying to learn. The goal isn't to be the best programmer in the world and know all the details about how every aspect of JavaScript works. Copy and paste this giant chunk of code. Uh, what this does is like, uh, it like makes your computer do stuff. The goal is to be good enough to be dangerous. You want to focus on what's called the 80-20 rule because most of the stuff that you're doing while you're programming is really going to come from the foundational principles that you use over and over again. So you want to get really good at those things. You don't have to know every single thing. You just want to know the basics and you want to know them well. If you do run into something where you don't have the answer to a question, you can always go to Google Google, you can always go to Stack Overflow. You don't want to get caught up learning all the details when you have resources right at your fingertips to answer the questions that you don't know the answer to. So remember, learn enough to be dangerous. This leads us to the second mistake which every beginner knows about and is something that we try to avoid but we really can't and that is tutorial hell. Tutorial hell is exactly what it sounds. You learn how to code, you follow someone along, you do a tutorial on YouTube, you code along with them even, and then you keep doing that over and over and over again. It feels really good because you're programming, you're taking the steps and you're actually writing code and you're having an output from that. You're making a result, you're making a website, you're making an app, whatever it may be. But you're not really doing it on your own. So whenever you run into a roadblock, someone's there holding your hand and giving you the answer to that question. What you really need to do is find a way out of tutorial hell. It's okay to do a tutorial. It's okay to do many of them. I think it's useful sometimes when you haven't done something to see how someone else approaches that same problem. But what you want to do is you want to take the concepts that you learn from doing tutorials and then apply them to different projects. So for example, if someone is teaching you how to make a to-do list app and telling you about databases, you want to take that idea and make a recipes app so that you can make your own database and apply the knowledge that you learned from the tutorial you watched into the new project and app that you're working on. This is really gonna force you to learn and it's really gonna force you to figure out the things that you don't know. Because only by doing it on your own, only by sitting there at, the, at your computer and staring at that blank cursor blinking at you is how you're gonna learn and find out the holes in your knowledge. And that's what's gonna make you a better programmer in the long run. Tutorial hell has taken too many aspiring programmers from us. Don't let it take you too. Just be cognizant of it, make a plan, write down the tutorials that you're gonna do and then don't do any more after that. So right after tutorial hell, this leads us to mistakes Mistake number three, and it's not doing enough side projects, not doing enough projects in general. A lot of times people will go through tutorial hell and then they'll say, okay, I'm actually ready and I'm ready to make my own project and I'm gonna do it. And then they spend months and months working on one to-do list app. This is fine, you're doing your own thing, you're learning what you don't know, but you're only doing all the steps once. You're learning how to make a landing page once, you're learning how to make a user or a database or a nav bar, whatever it is, you're doing it once because you've only been working on that one app. What you really wanna do is you wanna build a lot of apps and build them as quickly as possible. Not necessarily just to get them out, but you wanna make them as good as they need to be to be functional. The goal isn't to make the most perfect app on the first go. The goal is to have enough reps in place so that your brain actually learns what you're doing. The more apps you make, the more times you go through the process of building something, and that's how things start to stick. There's a really good research story about this where there was two groups of people in a pottery class, and one group was told to make one pot over the course of a few weeks and make it as good as possible. And the next group was told to make as many pots as they could over and over again for the same amount of time. At the end of the study, it was found that the group that made many, many pots pots over and over again eventually became better at pottery than the group that focused only on that one pot to make it the most perfect pot in the world. And this is because they got the reps. They got the ability to constantly improve on their skills and they could learn from the ground up to, to do what they needed to do. It's the same concept with programming. The more apps that you can build, the better you're going to get at actually having your brain learn the concepts that you need to know about. In addition to this, I think it's really helpful to build apps for someone. That someone could be yourself, you could find a problem in your life that needs to be solved, and you can build something to solve for that. This way you actually interact with what you're using and you can find the holes and the areas that it needs to be better. The second thing to do is to build something for someone else. This could be a friend, a family member, whatever. Find a problem that they have in their life and solve it using programming. And this way it gives you not only the repetitions that you need to build a project, but it gives you a user, someone that can provide feedback to you to say, hey, you built this and I didn't really like understand how it works and it didn't really 
wasn't really what I was looking for and what I need to do. And that way you have the feedback that you can then take back to the drawing board and iterate on your app. Doing that kind of process is what's really gonna give you a better understanding of how you can become a better programmer. Because you're not just going through tutorials, you're not just building random projects, you're building projects with a purpose. And I think if you have that purpose, then you can actually go back and become a better programmer for the long run. So those are three mistakes to avoid when you're learning how to code. It can be really easy to fall into them and this video is by no means meant to be a video of discouragement it's rather a video of intentionality. You really want to pay attention to the things that you're doing and if you're making the same mistakes over and over again, it's better to catch them and improve upon them rather than to just continue in that pattern. So I've done this myself. I've been in tutorial hell. I'm trying to get out of it. I hopefully am out of it soon. So I wanted to share this with other people who are learning because I think if you can be intentional about the way that you're learning, it's going to make you a better programmer in the long run. Hopefully this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, definitely drop a like below. Subscribe to the channel. I'm excited to share my coding journey with you all. If you want to see another one of my videos on some of the resources that I'm using as I'm learning to code, you can definitely click on it here and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.